Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Miami Offensive Playbook in Madden NFL 16. We're going to be giving you guys a full scheme uh, on how to use this playbook in Madden Ultimate Team to uh, really get some damage done. All right, guys, what's up? My name's Cody, and uh, in today's video, like I said, we are taking a look at the Miami Offensive Playbook this week for our Scheme of the Week breakdown, and uh, really going to focus in on a specific shotgun formation that I really like to use a lot, uh, and this is going to be really, really effective uh, for mode for a mode like Madden Ultimate Team. Um, but anyways, guys, the, the formation we want to focus on for our base formation, uh, and our base formation, what we want to teach is that the base formation is something we can come out in every single play and feel confident that we can have the ability to beat man-to-man -man or zone coverages and then based off of our base play we can now run plays off of that from maybe a different formation or just a different play within the set uh, that we can use but anyway the gun empty bunch and uh, what we want to do is we want to put our best catch and traffic guy uh, in this left slot we're using the Panthers this week so we're going to use Kevin Benjamin but obviously in our mutt game we're also going to use Kevin Benjamin 96 catch and traffic and 96 spectacular catch um, this left guy you want to just put uh, you know a pretty solid guy on underneath pretty much really an underneath guy um, and what we like to do is we like to put Ted Ginn there. Ted Ginn's got good speed. He can make, you know, big plays out of nothing kind of thing. So we're going to put him there. And then we have Cotry here. And then uh, in the backfield, you know, you can really use whoever. Um, Jonathan Stewart probably is the best for the, the Panthers. And then, of course, we have Greg Olson at tight end, uh, 94 overall. So shotgun empty bunch. And the play we're going to focus on is the play divide wheel. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, I want to note that this is an empty formation, but the cool part about it is the Miami playbook, you have a quarterback draw, and it's actually pretty effective. As you can see, they get really good blocking, uh, and if they're not sending heavy pressure at you, you know, you can really uh, you can really do something with this, and even if they are sending heavy pressure with you, if they're sending it off the edge, I've actually seen some people uh, break these runs off the edge. So even if they're blitzing off the edge, you still have a shot. So, so just know that, just know that it's in your back pocket. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to motion snap Kelvin Benjamin. Now you're going to do a half step motion. And so it's going to be one half step and then snap the ball. And he's your first read. If they're in man, just pass. I like to use a high pass lead. And uh, I also like to pass lead it to the left. And uh, you do that by holding L1 and holding the left analog stick to the left. As you can see here, it's going to get a nice little back shoulder animation. Cam Newton can't always make, uh, is not always a great quarterback for this to make this throw, but someone like a Ted Teddy Bridgewater uh, or guys like that in Madden Ultimate Team are pretty solid. As you can see, it's a one on one matchup, and it, it's basically can Calvin Benjamin win that one on one? Normally, he's going to be pretty solid, and normally they're not even going to be in the vicinity, as you can see right there, uh, with a nice, uh, a nice wide open angle to throw the football. So it's all about that motion snap, it's all timing, um, but you know, you don't want to just throw a high pass lead. That, that, that time I just threw a high pass lead, and you see that they're able to make a play on the ball. What you want to do is it want to be high into the left side of the field. So high into the left, and you see he's able to get that nice animation where only your receiver can get it, and that's really the core of any good route. Now you can actually throw this route against zone, too, and we're going to show you that in a moment, um, but here... Let's show you this against cover three. So this is a popular zone defense most people like to use. And I just want to show you cover three here. But uh, against the cover three, what you're going to see is that if you do the same thing, hold it to the left, you see you're going to get that nice one-on-one -on -one animation where he's just going to moss them and go over the top. So this is something that you could mix in. Um, obviously, it's not something you want to throw every time. If there's other people open, don't don't just throw it to Calvin Benjamin just because it's cool looking and things. You want to throw it to who, who's open. Um, as you can see, in the against the cover three defense, what I want to show you is the main route you're going to want to focus on is this route to Greg Olson. As you see, he's going to go crossing pattern over the cover three, and you're going to click on and undercut that ball. So as you can see, there's something that we like to use uh, against the cover three. Uh, I think he dropped it for us that time, so let's see if we can't get a little better animation. And also, you may even want to put Jonathan Stewart on a fade. Um, and if you put Jonathan Stewart on a fade, it's going to get a little bit more of an opening. As you can see, it's kind of a fine line, kind of a fine window that you can fit that in with Olsen. So just need to be aware of that. Um, but this is really a primarily... Um, this route to Calvin Benjamin is what we want to focus on. As you can see, that it just gets really good separation, especially against man. Um, the next thing against man coverage, and especially if they go man bump, um, if they go man bump, we can motion Cotri out also to the right side. And when he s goes to, well, that was a bad throw by Cam. When he goes to break, basically after he makes his break is when you want to throw the football. So we'll show you this real quick. Um, but against man bump, 
Motion caught you the right a couple steps. What you're going to see is he's going to go to the outside. I like to use a high pass lead there as well. And you can see we get a nice back shoulder catch animation there for us. So, so that's two man beaters in, in, in two routes. Um, the next thing we like to do, uh, the hot route. One, one hot route we like to do on this is take John Stewart, place him on a, a slant pattern. Uh, it's going to get good separation, especially if you're in mutt. And what you're going to see is the slant is one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. And, and you're saying, you know, Jonathan Stewart just win for me, buddy. And, and as you can see, he does win uh, against man-to-man. -man. Um, the next read on this play is going to be uh, Greg Olson's round. And you're going to see when he gets across, it's a crossing pattern. And normally he's able to win. It basically comes down to are they in a dime or a nickel. If they're in a nickel and he's matched up with a linebacker, he's going to win. If they're in a dime and he's matched up with a corner, he's not always going to win. Uh, he's actually going to have a little bit of trouble, as you as you saw there. But here, uh, and, and also, if you uh, give him a high high pass leads this year, I think are really really effective. And I didn't think they'd be as effective as they are, but they are pretty solid uh, because what we're seeing is it's more of like a touch pass. And uh, we'll show you stuff in the pocket, high pass lead, let him go up and make that aggressive catch. Since he's a Greg Olson, he can make that. Now, if that was like a Dennis Pitta or something like that, then it may not be quite as effective. We'll show you this against cover three as well. High pass lead. Um, and it didn't quite work out as well for me that time. The other read, though, is that the thing is, like, if they're in zone, you're going to be able to hit this drag coming across the Ted Ginn, and then you can make some big plays in the middle of the field, as you can see there. So the drag is kind of your safety valve. If they are in zone and they and they look to kind of back off the coverage and, and try to take that away, here we can you know we can probably try to get that user catch game going with Greg Olson. Another thing that we can do, like I said in the opening, is this route to Kelvin Benjamin. When it comes to the outside, just pass lead up into the outside, and you can see there it is. There's that back shot shoulder catch animation because he's matched up with a linebacker he's going to win or he's actually matched up with a slot corner but uh, a one-on-one -on -one is, is is normally his forte there so so this is just something that you know I believe that you can definitely mix into your offensive scheme um, you have the quarterback draw from this formation which is really nice another play that I like to mix in when using this playbook is to play spacing and uh, all we like to do here is just take Greg Olson run him off on a fade we like to do that same motion stuff with Kelvin Benjamin but now we're going to hit him on the right side of the field uh, we're going to look to hit him to Jericho Koshry. Uh what I like to do with spacing as you guys know, is it's just a simple uh, route to circle. It's unbumpable and it's a nice low pass lead. Uh, as you can see, it worked very effectively there. And like I said, don't ever sleep on this quarterback draw, especially with someone like Cam Newton. You can pick up some really, really good yards. So, so this is just a really good formation, guys. And I, I wanted to uh, definitely bring it to light here. Um, and this speed out to Kotri actually gets pretty good separation stock. Too. So you don't even have to motion him out. If they go man bump, then it, it actually isn't quite as effective as you're going to see here. Um, you know, you, he's going to be pretty blanketed, and so that's why I like to motion him out. If I see man bump, the other thing is like with man bump, you can actually work this route to Benjamin will still kind of work for you if you pass lead up into the left, as you can see there. He just sometimes will get a better, uh, be in a little bit better position. Um, so we'll show you this one more time here. See if I can work it. But it's just a nice, there it is. And you see that nice little fade route. Basically, it's a simple simple back shoulder throw, really. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, we're doing it in Madden now. And so, one-on-one, -on -one, we see that back shoulder throw. And we give him an opportunity to go make a play. Like I said, it doesn't work quite as good when you don't motion him. But uh, if they're going man bump and uh, and you want to work this right side of the field, you can motion Kotri out. And then make sure you throw. See how I'm throwing it a little bit late. You want to make sure you're throwing it on time. Um, I know that's hard. I know it's difficult. You need to get in practice. I'm going to work on the timing. Even I struggle with that. Um, but lights up. Switches to the outside. Makes his break, and we got him on the back shoulder throw. So, just some things you can do with this play, guys. Really, just wanted to kind of push this one and uh, and and show you what I've been doing with this play. If it's if you know it's zone coverage, I would put get on a streak. And then you can maybe try to work this uh, this route to Olsen in. Well, it wasn't really that good. So, yeah, you know, I would pretty much stick with that drag combo. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to, if it's, you know, if it, if you're facing zone, is you could streak Olsen up the seams. This is going to leave a much more open room for that drag route to kind of come down. So, 
A lot of things you can do with this play, guys, but just mainly wanted to give you kind of some of the basics. This is a really, really effective offense. Like I said, you know, a really good base formation. You have a, a really pretty good set of quick audibles, honestly, and um, and just some really cool plays that you can utilize. So definitely want to do not, you know, definitely don't want to sleep on on this formation. Uh, and like I said, you got spacing. You've even got this play wide trail. It's pretty solid too. Uh, the wide trail. Uh, gives a nice drag route to the tight end there, so a lot of good things from this formation. But anyways, just wanted to break down a, uh, a one one of the plays from it. Anyways, guys, uh, also want to give an update. I'm gonna have to push back the the guide one week. Uh, basically, you know, I've got the offense completely done, but the defense I'm still working on. I want to put them both out at the same time, so we're gonna push that back one week. So next Monday, uh, we will be releasing our offensive and defensive guides. We're gonna be utilizing Arizona and New England. Um, we're just gonna kind of go deeper into them. Uh, Obviously, there'll be new guides because I, I, it's, it's kind of a new spin on the defense. But like I said, it's it's not going to be very expensive at all. It's going to be the same price, ten dollars each, twenty, fifteen dollars for the both of them. But um, but anyways, guys, that's what we've got going on. And then also, guys, if you have any questions about today's video or anything that you want to discuss, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll get back with you.